Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I am in Bungan province in the vast northeastern region of Thailand near the Mekong River. And this province has some of the most unbelievably unseen, beautiful natural wonders in Thailand. Uh, today I'm very excited because we are going to a place called Sam Hinwan, which uh, translates to the three whale rocks because from above there's these massive rocks that come out of the mountain in the forest that look look like whales, a family of whales. So I'm gonna share this entire experience with you in this video and then later on we'll probably try to find some food and then also another place I wanted to visit today later this afternoon is the navel, the belly button of the Mekong River. Uh, so I'm gonna share everything we do with you today in Bunkan province in this video. Just as a quick tip before we go, uh, we had a little bit of confusion getting here because you cannot follow the GPS. The GPS takes you off on a dirt road, uh, but really you want to find the signs and you want to put the GPS to a place called Pu Sing. Uh, and from there, you get to the National Park entrance here. There's a parking lot. And actually, I think formerly you used to be able to drive yourself to the entrance of the rocks, but now uh, they don't allow that. You have to take a, a National Park provided truck to the entrance of the rocks. So you park here and then you get the truck here and then it's going to take us up into the mountain to the rock. These are the trucks provided. Shuttle trucks. So there's no park entrance fee, but you do have to pay, it's 500 baht for the shuttle. And sometimes I think if you do want to wait, you can wait for other people to come and join. Uh, but if you want to just go, uh, we just, we're just going, it's 500 baht for the ticket for the shuttle truck. Oh yeah, we are off, Micah. Whoa, it's fun, huh? The truck ride is pretty fun too, because he just, road just curls around up and down. They go pretty fast too. <laughs> it's great. Whoa, you gotta hold on. And we're already the landscape. You're starting to see some of the red, the amazing red rocks of this landscape. Quite a ways back here, maybe 15, 20 minutes to get back here, and the road is pretty rough. My butt's starting to hurt. Oh, here's some other people in the back of a truck. <laughs> but I guess you could also, uh, you could also sit in the cab in the front, but it is definitely a lot more fun in the back. Oh. <laughs> I might have a sore butt tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, okay. So this way, he said this way is the whales, this way is the viewpoint. Wait, you don't want to see the viewpoint first? Okay, we go to the whales first. But man, it is windy up here. It's so windy. And so this is the entrance gate to the Three Whales Rock. It is a very famous attraction right now in Thailand. Uh, and they're keeping it eco and maintaining the naturalness of it. And I hope they keep maintaining it uh, because so far they've, they've done a really good job of all the organization and uh, maintaining the environment. The gusts of wind. The trail that we're walking on has already turned to complete stone. So I don't know where we're gonna emerge. It looks like we're gonna emerge to a view. I think we're already on top of the rock. This is the dad whale. We'll come back for it, but he said first, let's go take a look at the, the mommy whale. So cool, and these rocks are just covered in a blanket of bamboo. Whoa. Okay. Oh, 
ตัวแม่หลังก็จะใหญ่กว่าตัวพ่ออันนี้เลย Amazing! You just emerge from the forest, from the bamboo thicket, and just emerge into the front face of the rocks, and you can immediately see how it looks like a whale, even though it would look more like a whale from the sky. But so we're on. This is the mommy whale over there. That's the daddy whale, and then to the other side, over this way, that's the the baby whale. Three whale rock. Whoa! It's spectacular. There's Huge, just perfectly formed whale-like rocks. It is a little bit windy, yes. Uh, so you have to do be extremely careful. And also, there's just no railing. Although I mean, the the rocks when they're not wet, they are very, very uh, non-slip. Oh man, it's so awesomely cool. Okay, wind gets a lot stronger when you get out here, but this is incredibly cool. And you, as you get towards the end of this rock, the view over Bunkan, the rubber tree plantations. The mountains in the distance. Oh, you can see the Mekong River in the distance, and so that must be Lao on the other side. Wow, it's unbelievable. Incredibly cool. Ah, m e n a m k o n g Okay, come. Made it out here to the very end of the rock. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stop right here. My my fear of heights is starting to kick in a bit. This is good for me. You can go all the way out there, but man, that's that's pretty scary. I would have extremely shaky legs, so I don't think I'm gonna risk that. But w oh, it's spectacular. It's like a podium, literally a natural podium. <laughs> Whipping through these rocks, so it is a little bit scary. Maybe not so great for for kids, but luckily, uh, Micah stayed at the base of the of the rock. And they said the wind is much stronger on the other rock there because uh, this mother, mo we're on the mother whale, right? The mother whale is blocked, shielded by the daddy whale. <laughs> You can go onto the daddy rock, daddy whale, and mommy whale, but you can't go onto the baby whale because it's too steep, it's too curved. And now for the daddy whale rock, uh, which yeah, our guide said it's very windy out here, so I'm probably not going to go too far. But yeah, when you are hiking on the trail, you are actually already on the daddy whale. It's just unbelievable. It's just kind of like these rocks just. Jet out of the side of the earth. I mean, I guess that's what most rocks do, but in a incredible way. Met up with some amazing ladies. Who, who knows from the videos? Okay, take a photo. Yes. Okay, let's take a photo. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Gonna see the elephant. We're moving on from the whale rocks. Next attraction is the elephant rock, I believe. Yeah. It's it's, it's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool because it's not just the whale rock. You take this whole tour, and they just know where to go, and they just take you. I didn't even know. I didn't expect this, but I think it's I think it's really well done. But that whale rock, unbelievably cool, and kind of scary. 
Ecuador. We yeah. He did say that the wind is only like this in the winter, not every day. So I think we got an unlucky extra windy day. Another viewpoint is just this rock wall, which kind of like has scales on it, I believe. So we're just quickly stopping just to take a look, but not getting out of the truck. We're continuing driving. Long track, come home. Next stop is the Hinchang Elephant Rock. Whoa, that's a drop off too. Oh, but the wind is nice and peaceful on this side. Okay. And here we go, say hello to the Elephant Rock. That really does look like the face of an elephant, the head of an elephant with the trunk. What an amazing stone just sticking out of nowhere. Elephant Head Rock. Very cool as well. And there is quite a drop off on this side as well, but it's nice and peaceful. We're on the opposite side of the wind. Let's go. And the next stop just down the road is another picture opportunity where there's two rocks that come together, opening a window to the view below. Pretty cool too. Again, just a natural window in the rock and a perfect photo opportunity. Okay, and we are moving on. Another viewpoint, which is just down the, oh, this one is the famous one. Oh, this is the famous one with the, the, the water in the rocks, water in the little holes in the rocks. It's just a cool rock formation uh, with an incredible pulpit view. And I think in the Isan dialect, it means, the name of it means like rock well or a well of water. And so there's always water. But he said it is from the rain, rainwater in these pockets in these natural geological rock formations and holes in the rock. And I think the well rock was the last viewpoint on this tour, but really so cool. And I love how they've arranged it. I love how they've organized and kept everything really pristine, nature-oriented here. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job. Got back down from the rocks, out of the truck, and there's a small concert happening at the front of the park. And I just love Bunkan. The people are so cool. The culture and the lifestyle is just to the peak of relaxation. And the natural beauty. Yeah, this province is a, is a gem of Thailand without a doubt. Ah, that was amazing. We are on our way back to the city of Bunkan, which is about a 30 minute drive. We're gonna have some lunch. They have a number of restaurants along the road, along the riverside, uh, but there were a couple places I looked up that are all closed right now. So we just chose this place. It has some nice seating right here in the front and looks like a wonderful place to just chill to have a quick lunch. Yeah, nice open air place to just get some views and to just get that breeze coming off the, the Mekong River. I think they have kind of a general menu of everything. Mike, I got a uh, soup, some fried rice, and then we mainly got some fried vegetables, some water morning glory, or some uh, some mixed vegetables and some water morning glory. And then I also ordered a curry, a jungle curry with one of the Mekong river fish, which should be coming soon. 
Hmm. Good, simple, and very crisp, refreshing. Oh, I think here comes the curry. Yes. All right. Jungle curry with bakang, right? Um, I, hate to, I think it's a type of catfish. There's green pepper in here, there's uh, finger root eggplant, and then the blackhang, the fish. It looks like the fish is fried also. Long beans, carrots, um, long beans, basil in here, baby corn. Mm. I always love jungle curry. Mm. The pepperiness, the spice, and then that like pungency of all the herbs and vegetables and uh, basil in there. No. Not too spicy. Could be spicier. It's okay. Not the not the best jungle curry, but not bad. I do really like how there's lots of vegetables in there. It's about a 15 minute drive from the center of the city down the Mekong River and welcome to what they call Sadu Menamkong, which is the belly button or the navel of the Mekong River. And that's because there is a whirlpool swirl and they also say that it is the deepest part of the Mekong River. Mostly I just wanted to visit uh, just for the viewpoint and just this is an iconic landmark and it's also a very important place uh, for the people of Bunkan. We're trying to figure out where exactly is the belly button, the navel, but I think the it's just kind of a slow, wishy-washy water in this area uh, with a variety of different little whirlpools and different currents. Yeah, you can tell that there's a lot of different currents all happening. Uh, right in this area of the river and then additionally the reason why it's such a sacred place There's a temple here. There's a number of different shrines along the river is that it is also believed because of the belly button that it is where Naga which is the serpent deity uh, resides in this deepest part of the navel of the river kind of spooky when you really like look into the the water and see how many different currents are coming together. Uh, another thing about the belly button, maybe it's not so prominent right now because they said it's the most prominent during the rainy season and now it's not the rainy season. Uh, so that's when it's the most visible. I think Nongkai is And so that's gonna wrap up this day, mostly going to the Three Whale Rock, which I would highly recommend. It's impressive, it's so cool. I'll have all the information in the description box. Bunkan is such a cool province, so laid back, so chilled out, and the natural beauty is just impressive. And there's just so many cool places to visit in Bunkan. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Bunkan in northeastern Thailand. See you on the next video.